welcome to lavanya's computer classes in this video i will explain command line arguments command line arguments in c language it is very very important question in first unit so i am explain what is a command line arguments so what is the command line arguments mean the arguments passed from command line are called command line arguments so any arguments are passed from command line that the type of arguments are called as command line arguments where you are using these command line arguments these arguments are handled by main function so if you are sending any arguments through main function that is also from command line that type of arguments are called as command line arguments still now we have learned so many programs functions also we are used like you are writing the function name is like this some function so what is this mean this is the name of the function without any parameters so this is the function with function with no parameters because we are not send any values here no arguments so function with parameters function with no parameters for example if we write like this some int a comma int b so these are called as functions with parameters still we wrote so many programs using functions in this most we wrote like this void main or int main but in this main function we are not send any arguments main function with zero arguments but whenever we want to send any parameters in the main function that is also through command line that is known as command line arguments so first we go for what is the definition of command line arguments means any arguments the arguments passed from command line are called as command line arguments that is the definition but where we are sending these arguments means using main function through main function we want to send any arguments those are called as command line arguments in these command line arguments the main contains now uh, if you want to use command line arguments we just change the structure of the main still now we are write like this only the structure of the main for always in all the program the main structure is like this void main like this in this main function in the brackets no arguments are there but whenever we want to send command line argument the structure we change it like this void main within brackets how many parameters are sending two parameters are we are sending one is the integer data type one is the character data type that is also pointer character data type so there are two arguments are there one is the argc one is the argv so argument c argument c for count so what is argument c means argc means argument count that is used for number of arguments passed how many arguments you want to pass through main so we just send the number that is counting the number that's why argc means argument count it is always counting the number of arguments that's why it is in the integer data type second parameter is argv so what is argv means argument vector it is a character data type and also array data type because it contains so many values in the arguments if you are sending four values all four values are stored in the argument vector it is in the array format in the array that is also pointer array and character data type so argc full form is argument count it counting the number of arguments passed argv in character format full form is argument vector it is a pointer array which points to each arguments passed to the program so it is an argument array so number of values are there means argv is start from 0 to 1 we don't know how many values are passed so 0 to n but in this the first two in the array it always starts with 0 already we know the zeroth element the first element is holds the name of the program for every time it is in the array format argv of 0 is always holds the name of the program next element that is argv of 1 holds the first command line argument argv of 2 holds the second command line argument so on the last one argv of n points the last argument so this is the introduction about command line arguments so what is command line argument means any arguments passed from command line through command line it is known as command line argument 
where we are use or how we are sending these arguments means through main so whenever we are using command line arguments through main function how many parameters we requirements we have to send two parameters one is the argc second one is argv okay argument count argument counter now we explain one simple example through simple example I explain how to execute command line argument so it is a c language program everyone we know hash include std io.h standard input output dot header file now it is an example for command line argument so i have to change the structure of the main void main here uh, command line arguments means we need two parameters one is the argc second one is argv argc is always integer data type and argv it is a pointer character array data type so you write like this int argc comma character star argv of array data type star is a pointer data type then argv means it contains so many values so we need for repetition that's we take one more temporary variable i now we just write i want to print how many arguments we are sending through these parameters so we write printf printf is in c language command for printing values printf the number of arguments so how many arguments are passed to the number of arguments where they are storing the number of argument that is in the argc it is an integer data type that's we are using percent percentage d d for integer data type next i want to print all the values which values are stored in the array so number of values that's we need loop so in this example i took for loop for i equal to 0 because i always array values are start from 0 only so i equal to 0 to i less than how many values how many values mean those values are stored in the argc so i less than argc i plus plus now i want to print one after another so printf argument percentile d is percentile s percentile s for argument v values percentile d for number of values first number second number like this so i i comma argv of i okay now i'll explain this one first to save this entire program with some name in this i will take the name of the program is command.c first save your program command.c after that we just go for alt f alt f means any operating system shell is open there here for example it is in the c drive where you are using means we are working in the turbo c command line prompt is working this is command line prompt from here we are executing the program already compiling no errors are there everything then for runtime we have to do this one first one is name of the program what is the name of the program our name of the program is command so the program name is oh, command.c so at the prompt command prompt we have to write like this first name of the program that is command and send any number of arguments here i am sending like this hi how are you so how many arguments are passed means here command line arguments the name of the program is also considered as first argument already said argument of zero is always contains the name of the program so one two three four five so it counting like this how many arguments are passed means five that's why first we printing how many arguments you want you are passing in this program so the number of arguments are the number of arguments are stored in the argc so the number of arguments are five so in this line it is executed the percentile d is five second one is where it is stored you know zeroth element in the array zeroth position which element is stored in first element first place which element is stored like this so that's why you are taking loop i equal to 0 to i less than argument c so here argument c are this contains how many values five values so i value is here starting from 0 to 5 that is also less than 5 that means 0 to 4 so in this argument of 0 percentile d means first element that is 0th element is which element is stored the first element is stored in argument 0 that is command then i plus 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 means 0 is incremented to 1 in the argument 1 which element is stored second first second element that is i anyway in the argument 0 it always stores the name of the program the next element is stored in the first place second how we stored in the argument 2 r is stored in argument 3 
and do you last element is stored in the last place so which one is the last place zero four is the last place so like this command line argument is executed this is a simple example for command line arguments and i will explain one more example for better, better understanding just check it once hash include stdio.h int main or void main your wish int main command line argument means how many parameters we require two arguments are required one is the arg c second one is the arg v argument vector argument counter argument count is always integer data type because it counts and give the number of elements that's why it is always integer data type and arg v is a array pointer array it contains character data type so this is the command line argument structure now we go for directly wrote the program if arg c equal to 2 whenever is sending two arguments then print just print the arguments applied is first element because two elements means one is 0 and one is 1 g2 elements means it is 0 comma 1 because array elements is always starts from 0 in the 0 the first element is always stores the which one is stores it stores the name of the program so actual argument is stored in the second place only that's why it write argument v of 1 else if arg c is less than greater than 2 if it is more than two arguments we are sending then you want to print too many arguments are supplied if it is equal to 2 just how many arguments are supplied if it is more than two we just print too many arguments are supplied else they will just write only one argument are supplied equal to two just write the second element if both are more than two we just write too many arguments otherwise just one argument is supplied now we just how to execute it just to save the program with the name of a dot c a is the name of the program it is in the c language that's why dot c is the extension now you have to execute it how can you execute it command line name of the program at command line prompt we just send the parameters name of the program which parameter is sending that is testing one is the name of the program and second one is the parameter so how many parameter it counts means one two one is the name of the program second one is the parameter list so in this for in in this example which one is executed means first one is executed so how many are in argument c argument c contains two two arguments first one is the name of the program second one is the testing so whenever you are sending two arguments so first line is working if argument c is equals to two this condition is working the answer is the argument supplied is arg v of one one means zeroth position a is stored and first plus testing is stored so the answer is testing if you are executing once again a testing testing two a is the name of the program testing one is the first argument testing two is the second argument so how many arguments is totally counted means one two three so argc counting is three so which one is working here means it is not equal to two it is more than two so what is the answer we're getting means too many arguments supplied so this is the answer one more example here we just write only a that means this is the name of the program but we are not sending any arguments so which one is argument so what is the argument see here arg c is equals to 1 so it is not equal to 2 is not working it is not more than 2 it is not working so what is else after else only this one is expect one more argument is expected so like this the program is executed so this is the command line arguments examples very very important question read well and write the exam well thank you for watching my video if you are like this video please subscribe my channel share it and like it